Hey guys, it's AJ for Life, and today I am doing a bakery vlog. The last time I did a vlog was my living room vlog, and you all seem to really like that video. So I decided to vlog the process of me making my doll bakery. And this whole bakery, I think it cost me under 40 bucks. So it's a great alternative than buying an American Girl doll one. And also, this has been such a long process of making it. I think it's been over three months of me making this, and it's finally done, and I'm so excited to show you guys how I made it. I'm gonna show you guys how to make all like the furniture and accessories and how to just build the whole bakery itself. Let's get right into the video. So for the base of the bakery, we are going to be using foam board. You can also use what if you want, but foam board is really easy to use. And I got two of these two packs of foam board. And I got these from Michaels, but you can also get it at the dollar store or any craft store. And this is a 1 fourth inch wide. You can also get half an inch wide if you want, it doesn't really matter. And it is 18 by 24 inches. So for the floor, I'm going to use just one piece that is 18 by 24 inches and this is just how it comes in the pack. Here are the measurements and I will put these measurements in the description box. And I'm going to be making three walls that are each 20 inches tall. And again, here are the measurements. This is the piece that I'm going to use for the floor and I'm going to cover this foam board up with this scrap of paper which looks like real wood and it looks really nice. It's called whitewash wood and I got it from Michaels but you can get it at any craft store. And I'm going to place the scrap of paper vertically. I got four sheets because I didn't know how much I would need. I'm going to place them vertically and I'm going to cut the top part off and I'm going to glue them down using Mod Podge and a foam brush. And when gluing it down, make sure you do not have any air bubbles. So I just finished the flooring and now I'm going to put a layer of Mod Podge on it to seal it in. Now cut out your walls and in one of my walls I cut out a square to be a window and then I ran into a problem. So my back wall was supposed to be 20 by 24 inches but a pack of foam board only comes in a pack that's 18 by 24 inches. So the back wall was 18 inches and that would be way too short for the doll so I had to make an extension. Um, I took a piece of foam board and I made it 2 inches tall and then 24 inches in length to go on top of the back wall and I had to hot glue that on the top. So I painted the walls and I painted the outside this tan color and originally I wanted all of the three walls to be tan that's why this wall is already tan and then I decided on making this wall an accent wall by adding some scrapbook paper. I'm gonna glue this brick scrapbook paper I got from Michaels onto this wall, only the back of it. And I'm going to put a table of chairs and make it like an outdoor seating area. And for the inside of the walls, I painted the two side walls this pink color. And for the back wall, which I didn't paint yet, but I'm going to paint it blue. So I glued the board this blue color and I glued this extension on. And as you can see, I do not really like how it looks, and you can really tell that it's been added on. So what I'm going to do is I have this pattern scrapbook paper, and it's so cute. It has like cupcakes and stuff on it, and I'm going to glue it all the way on the top to be kind of like a trim, and I'm only going to do it to this back piece. Hey guys, so the mail just came, and I got a package from Karen from the Dolly Dish on Etsy. And I told her I was making an American Girl Bakery and she was super kind enough to send me some items from her shop to review and feature in this video as well as to display in the bakery. And her shop is so so cute. She sells polymer clay food for your doll, art supplies, and even pet accessories. So I'm going to link her shop in the description box below. So make sure you check it out. So let's get this package open. So this is what the packaging looks like right out of the envelope and it is so so cute. I love the tissue paper, the glitter and everything. It's so cute. So first I'm going to open up this card. So here's the card and this is what the card looks like and I'm going to read this off camera right now. So thank you so much Karen. This card is so so sweet. This is the packaging. It says thank you and there is a business card. Now let's open this up. So 
So there are two of these bags and they're full of desserts and sweets. So I'm going to start off with this first bag. So the first item is this chocolate chip cookie. Next are these two brownies. This one looks like it's covered in powdered sugar and this one looks like it's covered in icing. There is a cinnamon bun. It has glaze on the top and there is also a cookie and I like how it's super realistic on the top. So that was the first bag and now we're going to move on to the second. First is this muffin and it is a blueberry muffin. The next two items are these cupcakes and these are so cute. Oh my gosh, I love them. So there is this chocolate one and then there is this vanilla one. So the last item is some bread and it's this baguette and it is so cute and super realistic. So that is everything and thank you so much Karen. If you guys are looking or interested in buying some polymer clay food or just accessories in general, definitely check out the dolly dish. Okay, so I just glued the bakery together and I'm so happy with it. I didn't film me gluing it because it just took so long and now I can make all of the furniture and accessories for the inside. And on the window, I made this little flower box and I made it out of popsicle sticks and hot glue and I pretty much just stacked the popsicle sticks and glue them right next to each other and I put cardboard on the bottom. I'm going to get some flowers. I'm gonna put those in there eventually. Now I'm making the display case and what I did is I took two pieces of foam board and I cut them in this type of pattern. I pretty much just put it straight on all three sides and then on one side I made it slightly slanted and then straight towards the bottom. And I did that with two for both sides. I might go like this so it's pretty much taking up the whole bakery. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to cover one side of these with this scrapbook paper. So I'm working on the display case and I covered these two pieces in scrapbook paper and what I did is I made one piece for the base and I made a piece that goes in the middle and I covered the edge with scrapbook paper. I made a bunch of these shelves. I made four of them and I covered the edges of all of them with scrapbook paper and I'm going to do two on each side and then I'm going to glue everything together with hot glue. So the bakery display case is done and it looks so so good. I love how it looks and matches the whole entire bakery and I feel it up already with some treats as you could see some I made some are from Etsy and some are from American Girl I still have to fill up the top one though I don't know if I'm gonna put like bread in there or if I'm going to put in cakes so now I'm gonna work on a shelf to put bags and boxes in like takeout boxes the display case is done and I think it looks amazing and on top I put some random items as well now I'm going to make a shelf to go on the back wall and I'm going to store like bags and takeout boxes so I'm doing that and I'm also working on the outside of the bakery. It's coming along. It's a work in progress, but I got some flowers in the flower pot. These are from the dollar store. I have a chair. I made that chair um, using paper, paper tubes, and that is from my process tutorial. And then this table in the center is wood from Michaels. So, ah, I didn't glue it yet, but the top is a wooden plaque, which is from Michaels. I think it was like $2 or something. And then this is a wooden candlestick, and I'm going to use hot glue to glue it, and I'm going to paint the top white, and then I'm gonna paint this part pink and blue. And also, I have this artificial grass. You can get something like this at like Lowe's, um, Home Depot or Michaels, but it's kind of expensive, so you gotta just look around. Um, but this was in my basement, and my dad said I could take it because he wasn't using it. So I'm probably gonna cut it a little bit though, because it's kind of long. But I'm also going to take these fences that I have, and these are from Michaels, and I'm going to put them around the grass area to kind of enclose it. And I'm also going to put this grass um, on a piece of cardboard and like attach that to the bakery. I made the shelf and I put it in the corner of the room. On it right now, we have some paper bags and some takeout boxes, and there's even a little macaroons box to put macaroons in. These brown bags are from American Girl, and I have three three of them and I made the takeout boxes and I just had this little macaroons box and I put a label on it. For the shelf I just took a piece of foam board, covered it in the same paper I used for the flooring and then underneath it I put two triangles of foam board, covered them in the same paper and glued them for support. And I also made some logos for the bakery. I'm naming it the Bittersweet Bakery. I think it's a really cute name and since the whole theme of the bakery is like pink and blue I made that with the logos so these are gonna be two signs um, I'm gonna cut them out and one's gonna go on the outside and one's gonna be in the inside and then I made these smaller labels these 
labels are gonna go on the brown bags. I'm going to laminate them using packing tape and then I'm gonna glue them on the front of the bags. I'm gonna put them right there and I used to have a different label on them, so that's why it looks like that. So now I'm going to put the labels on the bags. So this is what the logos look like on the bag. I think they look awesome. I forgot to tell you guys that this chalkboard is from Michaels and I think it was like 99 cents or something. And then I have this jar and I don't know where this jar is from. I took some tissue paper and I made little candies in yellow and red for like fall colors to go inside. Now I am making aprons so that the workers can wear aprons and at first I was gonna make one but I decided to make two, one in pink and one in blue and now I have leftover felt that I'm gonna use to make pockets. I'm gonna do blue pockets on the pink one and pink ones on the blue one. And in the middle, I'm going to use puff paint. I'm gonna write bittersweet on it. I use blue fabric and I just glued it to the other side and it's really easy to put on the dolls now and I think it looks a lot better and I actually added some trim on the sides as well. I'm going to hang the aprons on this hook. So I'm making some progress on the bakery. In the corner, I put the hook and I hung the aprons. And guys, I'm watching iCarly while I'm making the bakery. It used to be my favorite show. I still love watching old episodes. So I cut a piece of foam board to be the same width of the bakery and then I made it kind of this length and I just kind of randomly cut it. I glued the fake grass on top and I still have to glue down this piece. Now I'm going to put glue along this side and then glue it to the side of the bakery. I glued the grass in place. I got a bunch of these mini fences from Michaels and now I'm going to use these fences and I'm going to glue them along the side of the fence. I might make a small opening but I'm also gonna do it on the back and I'm gonna use hot glue to attach them. The fence is up and I think it looks awesome. I left a small opening right here so it would be easier for the dolls to walk in and out and I put the table and the chair right there and it looks awesome and now I'm going to make some posters. I made three posters to go on the inside of the bakery. First off, I made this menu. Just wrote down everything that I was selling and all of the prices. And I'm gonna put this one on the back wall. And then I put one that is October coffee flavors because my bakery is gonna have like coffee, iced coffee and stuff. And I wrote these flavors down. And then I wrote a sign that says, we take custom orders. The menus are up and I put the coffee one right here. I put the menu in the back. And then I put the uh, custom orders one right here. And I used tape to attach all the posters just in case I would want to take them off and I could remove them easily. Everyone asks me where I store my doll stuff and people think it's in my room, but my room is way too small to have all this stuff. So it's actually in my attic and my attic is all done. I have my dollhouse here. It's kind of a mess right now because I'm um, filming videos and stuff, but I have my dollhouse here and I have like a whole video on this by the way. And then moving over here, I have this little corner and now I have just this empty space and I think I'm going to make a little doll town. I have a bunch of shops and stuff. So I have the bakery in this corner and then I have the fruit stand there for now, but I think I'm going to make like a restaurant or a diner and then I can make more rooms along here. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you liked it. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel and comment down below what other rooms you would like me to make like maybe a restaurant or a starbucks i don't really know because i am making a doll town and i need some more shops so thanks again for watching and i'll see you guys next time bye